Oh, okay. There's a difference between the two. Uh, okay. Your guy died even better than the guy he going to battle. You are going to eat so much crow before this is over. I pity you. I pity you. Don't pity me. Yeah. Shots fired early on. All right, guys, let's do this. Let's jump right in. Skip, I was thinking about you all day yesterday mm. when I saw this news. Baker Mayfield finally on the move. The Browns are trading the quarterback to the Carolina Panthers for a 2024 fourth or fifth round pick. That depends on Baker's playing time. All right, Skip, I know you're going to have a ton to say about this. Mm -hmm. Shannon, you go first. Is this a good move or a bad move for Carolina? <laughs> it's a lose-lose for everybody. Hey, look, first of all, Carolina Ooh. did not get better. If there's a reason why they only gave up a fifth-round pick, that can be a conditional fourth-round pick. Mm. If he get with a certain amount of play time, it can move up to a fourth. Now, they gave up a two, a four, and a six for Sam Darnold. It shows you what they thought of Sam Darnold in comparison to what they think. It shows you what fools they were. Oh, that ain't fools. Fools. They're even bigger fools for Sidon Baker Mayfield. Mm. Thank you. Mm. See, you was your fool. You were always a D fool. That's so they were a bigger fool. They were a fool to sign yep. Sam. Bigger fool to sign Baker Mayfield mm. coming off an injury. Mm. With all that talent. Skip, think about all the talent that he had in Cleveland. Mm. All of it. A top three offensive line for the last three years. And as a matter of fact, your favorite website, Pro Football Focus, says they have the second best offensive line this season. They said the Carolina Panthers will have the 31st offensive line, 31st best offensive line this season. Skip, when you look at the talent that he's had and you look at the performance that he's given you, I'm not saying Sam Darnold is a world beater, but at no you point. You better not. At, 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 you did once upon a time. At no point in time will anybody say Sam Darnold has had the same talent level surrounding him mm. as Baker Mayfield. Mm. They both came in the league the same season, 2018. One was the first pick, Baker. The other was the third pick, Sam Darnold. These two guys have the first and second most interceptions since they joined the NFL. Mm. And they happen to be on the same team battling for the starting quarterback position. So in a situation like this, I don't see anybody as a winner. I see only survivors. Mm. Cleveland Browns. Survivors? Seriously? Baker Mayfield is a winner? Huh? How Baker well, Mayfield? Well, how, how's Carolina going to survive? Because they took, look, Skip, they don't, I don't believe they view him as a substantial. They look, they're looking at Sam Donald's history. He hasn't played well, but he's also been deemed. He got dinged last year. He was playing really well when C. Mack was on the when C. Mack was on the field. He got dinged. Now you put more on uh, uh, Sam Darnold's plate. He wasn't able to handle that. Baker Mayfield is coming off an injury. Hell, he only went to one playoff game with uh, one playoff. Well, uh, led him to the playoff once with all that talent. Mm. So am I supposed to expect Baker Mayfield to work miracles with less talent when he couldn't do more with more talent? Absolutely not. And mm. I know it hurts, Skip. And I told you, since the com yeah, since the common draft, he joined two guys. And I told you, you didn't want to be on that list. He's one of three guys to go number one overall at the quarterback and not, and not reach five years. Jamarcus Russell, Jeff George. Mm. Wait, did Deshaun Watson come available for those guys? I don't care who came available. Oh, really? Jesus could have came available. Did a top three quarterback yeah. come available for their teams? Whoa, I think not. Whoa, 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 Skip. Because it's never happened before. Skip. A, a 25-year-old top three quarterback? Nobody is looking to – I don't care who comes available. If your guy is like that, they're not looking to replace him. Why won't you accept the fact Baker Mayfield isn't that dude? If he was, he would still be a clean guy. He got replaced by a top three quarterback. Why did he get replaced? You like Deshaun Watson? Why did he get Get replaced because he's a top three quarterback at age 25 who suddenly hit the market for all the wrong reasons, so, I might add. So think about the teams that were looking at Deshaun Watson. There were three mm. teams that we know yeah. for certain. The Atlanta Falcons, yeah. they don't have a quarterback. The New Orleans Saints, who Jameis Winston's coming off an ACL injury. And, the, and who else, Kim? And the Cleveland Browns. Now, we can understand the other Tell two situations. Tell me when it's my turn. It's not your I'm turn. I'm getting bored. Yeah, I, that's all, you're getting uh, bored. It doesn't change the fact. You can get bored all you mm. want to. The guy that you put your reputation on got moved oh. for a fifth-round pick. Reputation? You put your name Tell me it. when it's my Take turn, please. Time. But it's still Baker Mayfield, the number one overall pick, and he joined Jamarcus Russell and Jeff George as only three in the common draft to be number one quarterbacks mm. overall and not make it five years? Mm. How can you not make it five measly, measly years? 
if you're that dude. Mm. He ain't it. Okay, you just pushed me right over the edge. I did. You have officially ticked me off. Good. So uh, I'm not going to fight fair anymore. <laughs> I'm going to fight fire with fire. <laughs> the Hall of Famer sitting across me knows so much about evaluating quarterbacks that mm -hmm. once upon a time he said that Sam Darnold should go first in that draft. Sam Darnold is a flat-out bust. I said it before, the draft cannot play in this league. Doesn't have the poise, does not have the command, does not have the consistent accuracy. I I told the Hall of Famer this. No, Sam Darnold's the best. Everybody loves Sam Darnold. He's a great kid. He's a great young man. Yeah. Way to go, Shannon. You picked Sam Darnold yes. in that draft, and right? both in Carolina. Okay, and here we go again. You said, two is that dude, man? Two is that dude? I said, no, he's not. I told you. I told you, Tua can't play. He's too little and he's too fragile. And he has not nearly enough arm to survive at this level. And I was right and you were dead wrong, but at least you've admitted you were wrong about that one. I told you. You walk it to him wins. He, he's not a natural born leader. He does not have consistent command or accuracy. He had a little burst there for a while, and then the backup quarterback took him to win the Super Bowl and was the MVP. I told you you're wrong, and I think you've kind of admitted you were wrong about Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz, Skip, listen, he's not the leader. Okay, okay. thank we you. We know that. But the, the pretend like 27 and 7, Baker Mayfield didn't throw for 27 okay, and 7. I'm just, uh, you, you, you pushed, and, and now you're going to get it back in your face. You told me the first day of the show aired six years ago, almost six years ago, you told me it's time for Tom Brady to go home and hang him up. Hang him up. Hang him up. No, I'm just trying to frame what you've been through. And you say, the guy you hung your reputation on. What reputation? And then Aaron Rodgers, I tried to tell you from the start. I told you back on first take. Aaron Rodgers is not that dude in the postseason. He did get him on the road as a wild card team to one long ago Super Bowl that's going on 12 years ago now. And I told you, he's a choke artist in the postseason. And I think you finally come around to that position. But, yeah, but the, okay. Transcendent has, thrower of the he football. He is, but he has four MVPs. Okay. The regular, the postseason success right. hasn't matched a uh, regular season success, but that doesn't mean he's not great. Baker Mayfield, what? <laughs> But you keep talking about right. Sam Darnold's a bust. How did they both end up on the same team if one is better than the other and that's not the team they drafted them? Who's better right now? Who would you rather have starting for your team in a vacuum, Baker Mayfield or Sam Darnold? Help me out. Skip. Which would you rather get run over by, a, a dump truck okay, or a truck? Which would you rather have? You didn't answer the question. Baker Mayfield or Sam Darnold? I don't, I don't want either. Oh, if I give me a choice. Well, right now you have to make well, a choice. Well, if Sam Darnold looks like he's going to be the starter. Okay. Ain't nobody handed okay. Baker Mayfield the, dry, the, right. uh, uh, the, uh, the driver's Okay, seat. now it's my turn for my opinion on what just happened to Baker Mayfield. I'm here to inform you, Mr. Sharp, that you are a very lucky man today. <laughs> because you got a huge Baker break. How? But it will only be a stay of execution for your Baker hate because he's going to come back to haunt you. It might be later than sooner, but I first guessed this. I've been telling you for three weeks or a month or whatever it's been on this show because we talk about Baker Mayfield every day, yeah. seven times a day. I have told you there's only one place I don't want to see him go, and that's the place that he wound up in. On a team that wanted him? The okay. only team oh, that well, won that's it. not true. But here's the point. I tweeted this immediately upon hearing the news yesterday afternoon. I tweeted, shrewd move by the Browns, trading Baker to the worst situation possible, one even more dysfunctional than Cleveland's, sabotaging his ability to come back to haunt them and to haunt you, Shannon Sharp. And my tweet continued, Carolina is the NFL's biggest mess. Baker will need to move again before he rises and shines again, and he will, all caps, and he will. He is the biggest bargain on the market, but it's going to take a year for him to hit true free agency where he can just pick and choose, and I'm hoping he gets enough of an opportunity for, guess what, the, 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 the latest ESPN uh, power ranking that I can find yeah. on the internet right now, the latest one. Guess who's dead last? 32nd and last. It's the Carolina when Panthers. When they got Baker Mayfield ranked as a quarterback. Carolina Panthers. Next to and that. then here we go. I brought this up, maybe it's been two, three weeks ago on the show, but uh, Mike Sando, the athletic, for whom I have high regard, was doing an uh, athletic football show podcast with Randy Mueller, who is the former general manager, you might remember, the New Orleans Saints. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Mike Sando said, Carolina is not a good fit for Baker. And uh, by the way, Mike's plugged in with his agents. 
Uh, he went on to say on the podcast, Carolina is a hornet's nest. They've got an owner that is ready to press the button any day now on reset. And if I'm Baker, that could be ugly and messy. I don't think that makes